It's time for a price prediction for Shiba Inu. So let's talk about that in this video. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like on the video. Greatly appreciate that. Um, it helps the channel to grow. And thank you for your support. So as far as a Shiba Inu price prediction, let's take a look at the overall market condition real quickly to give you kind of some perspective so you understand what is going on. Now, we've got a really interesting situation here where the market is up, as of the recording of this video, up 3%. Uh, right, it's hovering a little bit below $1 trillion market cap. And you can see Bitcoin and Ethereum are moving up respectively. I personally think Ethereum is moving up because of the, you know, we're moving in and getting closer to the Ethereum merge. Uh, this is moving from proof of work to proof of stake. This is the biggest thing that has happened to Ethereum since it launched. Okay, so this is obviously massive. Okay, but in this, I think that this this number right here, the fact that we're up about 3% might be a little bit of a fake out. Okay, and here's why. Again, this is all relevant to Shiba Inu. Give me a minute. You need to understand what's going on. So we need to look at Bitcoin. Yes, we need to look at Bitcoin as it relates to Shiba Inu. Okay, so a veteran analysis, Tone Vase, is basically saying, taking, telling his YouTube uh, and, and Twitter crowd, hey, look, weekly chart looks to, looks pretty bad for Bitcoin. Uh, we have a we we have a red star candle uh, which is bad according to the MRI. We also have a we have a full weekly candle below all three moving averages. It's also bad, especially the fact that we're down below the 200 week moving average. This is Bitcoin. This does matter to Shiba Inu. Bear with me. If we start bouncing off 19,000, there could certainly be a capitulation down to 15,000 dollar area. Okay, here's why you care. If you didn't know this, Bitcoin. You see this number right here, market cap. This number right here is approximately 40, north of 40% of the entire market cap is ran by Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin does fall down to say 15,000, what's going to happen? It's going to drag the entire crypto market down with it to those levels. Ethereum will fall, Shiba Inu will fall. If, okay, and we've got a lot of factors going on right here, okay? So we've got... Um, the Federal Reserve, they're going to be meeting later this month on the September 20th and 21st. We know that's coming. Okay, we know they're going to raise rates. And we've got a lot of volatility ahead of that. Um, the Chairman Powell, who's the chairman of the Fed's, come out and said that they are going to be, continue to act very aggressively. And there's going to be, quote, more pain ahead. Okay, so you have a tremendous amount of volatility. Fear and greed, act, fear and greed index running at a 27, a little bit higher than I kind of expected it right here, right now. So here's your Shiba Inu price prediction. Okay, we have rough waters ahead. Now, there's not necessarily all bad news here, okay? But, and here's the thing. I make this video because you need to know what's going on. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that everything is wonderful and perfect right this second because it's simply not. We have a lot of volatility. We have a lot of things going on. Okay, SHIB's bouncing up. Looks good. And if we look at the last seven-day chart, we had this move down. This move down was because of Chair, uh, Chairman Powell from the Fed uh, last Friday. He gave a speech and everything moved down. The entire crypto market moved down. But since SHIB is consolidated like it always does in this kind of 1-1-1-2 one, 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 range. And you can see right now it's trading in the 1-2-5-2 two, two range. So from a price prediction standpoint, we are literally just need to, I want us to stay here. I want us to hold this level. But if we do get this situation plays out, that if Bitcoin does start to move down, which quite frankly, it is possible that that could happen, okay? Because of all this volatility, because of all these outside macro factors, then it will pull SHIB down with it, okay? So here, it, here here's the bottom line. This is not investing advice, of course, right? If you are in and if you are not in profit, then just, you know, batten down the proverbial hatches. I think that's a water, that's an ocean saying, but, you know, you know, batten them, batten them down. Just kind of get ready to ride the storm out. That's what I'm doing. I have a long-term view. I'm not stressed about this because I'm looking at a payday for Shiba Inu down the road, six months, a year, et cetera. That's how I look at it. So I wanted to give you a price prediction. That's where we're at. If we can stay here. We might get a little bit of bounce up if the crypto market continues to get a lot of kind of like positive volatility, but there is too many kind of negative factors right here right now. So I'm betting that we're either going to stay this, stay here, or maybe drop a little bit more. I'm not worried about it because of these macro factors. And at the end of the day, I believe that the overall crypto market is going to get bigger after we weather this proverbial storm. Okay, thanks for your support. I'll see you. Take care. Bye.